Well, Lee, uh, th this is your European title defence, but you are obviously absolutely gutted that you can't be doing it here in Bristol. Yeah, of course I am. You know, it's, um, it's a big thing for me to fight in Bristol in front of the Bristol fans and, um, you know, and give something back to the Bristol people. That's the thing. And you know, not getting a fight here is hard. It's, it's, it's hard for me, but still, I'm used to boxing away, so I'm, 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 happy, I'm happy to do that. But last time out when you won the title, you were fighting in Cleveland, only just down the road. That must have been a, a, at least uh, a benefit to you and, and maybe almost made it harder now that you've got to go away this time. Yeah, it was great to have it in Cleveland. You know, we went too far and, you know, and people made the effort to come out and see me, which, you know, we sold out and it was, um, you know, it was real good. But um, so go, going away for this fight, you know, I'm not going to obviously have the support behind me, but still, you know, I, I fought away plenty of times, so it's not, it's not nothing different to me. Do you dream that one day the Bristol Arena will be here, even if maybe it's going to be a, too late for your career? Yeah, I think it'll probably be too late for my career. But, um, yeah, it will be good to get it, you know, so we can get big fights in Bristol and, you know, and then other boxers can come up and, and have their shows in Bristol, which is, a, which is a good thing. So you've got to go to Belgium this time and local advantage for your opponent. So what do you know about him? Um, you know, I've, I haven't really looked too much into him. You know, I let my trainers and my manager do that kind of stuff. You know, I just, I just train for the fight and, and get in the best shape of my life. You know, but um, you know, obviously I'm number two in the world now, so to beat this guy will, will put me in, in touch and distance of a world title, which, you know, that's my dream. And, you know, it would just be fantastic to get a world title, especially, you know, I could provide a better life for my family, and, 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 and that's my um, goal in life. Is that maybe your one hope that if you've got a world title shot, that it might be viable to put it on in Bristol at maybe one of the football grounds? Yes, yeah, that's what that, being in the football ground, like you know, Rovers or City ground, you know, something like that would be amazing, you know, to put something that big on, it would be good. And hopefully, I'm going to get that world title shot, and then we, you, we can go for it and try for a fight like that. But you can't afford to look past this guy, can you? Nah, not, not really, no, because you know, he's a, he's a very good fighter, very tough, and um, you know, he's going he's gonna, to, he's obviously in his own town, so he's coming to win, you know, but um. You know, I've, I've done my absolute best for this fight. You know, I've trained hard, sparred hard. I've done everything, everything to my ability to the top. You know, and um, you know, I just want to get in there now and work on some of the stuff that I've worked on in training. And you know, I just want it to be a good fight. You know. And can you explain to people what the difference is between the British and the European level? You know, did you notice it when you stepped up to the European uh, to win the European title? And to be fair. Um, yeah, you know, when I, when I fought Stuart Hall, it wasn't it went that much different to when I fought for a British or, or a Commonwealth, you know, was, um, you know, I made him miss, I made him do the same things, you know, because I feel like I'm, 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 I'm a league above European, I'm, Euro, I'm a, league, a league above British, you know, you know I, I believe I'm world class and that's what I want to do, that's why, that's why I'm aiming that high because I want to get there. I was just sat in the car before this interview looking at your record, it's over five years since your last loss and you've only lost twice anyway that's an amazing record isn't it yeah of course it is, yeah it is real good you know and i always believe you know the two losses that i had was a, you know a long time ago and you know i just didn't train i was out with my mates a lot you know and i and i wasn't i wasn't putting the work in but um obviously now you know i've put the work in and, and everything's going everything's going to plan you know like like you said i haven't been beaten five years and i don't and plan on getting beat for another five years you know especially not in belgium <laughs> i presume definitely not you know this guy haven't had a loss yet in belgium you know every fight he's had he's won in belgium so you know i want to get over there and um and beat him in his own time you know i get more satisfaction on doing that beating him in their own time well very best of luck to you i'm sure you do very well yeah thank you very much Thanks a lot.